So Daisy, my final question for you is in terms of customizing resume, we all know that as a career coach, we tell students, international students, uh, immigrants, customize your resume for each job. Even though if you're applying to the same kind of a role, maybe you can pay around the bulletin points. Maybe you can change your uh, how you start your uh, su summarized part. So in 2023, what tips you have in terms of customizing resumes so that, you know, they can kind of, as we talked earlier, you know, the applicant tracking system sometimes doesn't identify those great people. So how can they, what tips that we can give them so that they pass the applicant tracking system? All right. <clears throat> so the with the resume, you have to make sure, okay, so let me backtrack on that. When you're developing your resume, mm. you have to make sure it aligned with the job posting. Okay. If they're asking for oranges and grapes, give them oranges and grapes. Do not give them oranges, grapes, and bananas because bananas, they don't want bananas, mm -hmm. pretty much. That's one. Two, you make sure that the top third of, a, of your resume is what we call prime real estate. It's mm. the most important part of the resume. Yeah. So you want to make sure that the, the, the most important achievement or accomplishments that you have, make sure it's contained in the third part, in the top third yeah. of your resume. So that's where your brand statement or your elevator pitch, those kind of, of mm -hmm. verbiage would come, would would um would come. So that's it. Because Recruiters, they spend between six seconds and depending on who you're and, talking to, and maybe six to 30 seconds, if so much, yeah. on the resume. So you want to capture their attention. Mm -hmm. So what when you want to capture their attention, you put inf important information right in the top. If you were made some excellent um if you have some excellent accomplishments at a company you worked with some years ago, do not wait until you get to that part of your, your work experience, part of the resume to, to say that. Say that up front, because when yeah. you put it there, it forces the, rec the recruiter will be so captivated by it Great. that they will want to read through your full resume. If they don't see what they're looking for, in that top third of the resume, they're gonna throw throw your resume away, even yeah. though you would have been um been a great yeah. great candidate. The other thing I would advise is a lot of people still put mm -hmm. objectives on their resume. Yeah, and that's a no no because it only takes up space. It yeah. is too me centered, mm -hmm. meaning it's focused on you, not on the employer. The employer doesn't care that you want a challenging a challenging job where you can in two years move up to vice president. Mm -hmm. they don't they don't they don't care about that. They yeah. want to know what is it? what are you bringing what Better value table. are you bringing to me? How can you help me? How can you how can you what solution can you find for the pain that my organization is going through? And you mentioned that when they're saying orange, give them orange. I also tell my clients and the students, if they're using excellent customer service, use those key words because those are part of the applicant tracking system, right? That's key. That is so important. And I'm glad you touched on that. Because even though excellent customer service, it's kind of yeah. blah, right? Yeah. yeah. But employers haven't yet learned to write Good. To write, write, yeah. write proper job description. So they're going to have those, they're going to have those phrases there. So yeah. yes, you can include those in, in your, you know, like a summary part of your resume yeah. as well. Yeah. However, in the resume, in the, in the bottom part of the resume, you have to tell them your story. Yeah. You have to tell them how you qualify to, how, what made you, what did you do? Mm -hmm. Why you're saying you can you can you offer excellent customer service? Yeah. Tell them how yeah. you were able to main to maintain or recapture customers who had long gone and so on. You know, so yeah. it's not just about the fluffy wording. Yes, but you have to have the proof. Yeah, and so excellent customer service. Prove it. Prove it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and one final thing. 
we know that chat GTP is here and it's not going away. And a lot of times I've seen even career catchers, they are explaining how to use chat GTP and they're saying that this is like a first draft. You don't have to copy paste and give it, but it will help you make make better time and manage and everything. What are your thoughts about that? The, and, you know, this is a great question because I, I, I am into chat GPT as well. Mm -hmm. Because it's, first of all, it's not going away. Yeah. So resisting it is going to be futile. As yeah. Borg says, resistance is futile. Yeah. But, and I agree with in terms of whoever might say, you know, use it as a, as a, for your draft, your first, first draft. Yeah. yeah. But you still have to personalize it. Yes. yes. There is nothing, chat GPT or, or artificial intelligence in general, they haven't yet gotten to the stage where they're taking over the human element of who we are. Yeah. yeah. So we as humans, we need to be self-aware. We need to make sure that we communicate where we have great interpersonal skills and all of that. The, the chat GPT and AI can't do that up to this yes. point. Yeah. So, yes, you can use it to help you in your research, to help you to do a draft, but it will never replace real yeah. work. Yes. It will never replace real work. Yes. When ChatGPT came and I tried it in January with a, <clears throat> with a simple resume, yeah. it, it actually created a resume with an objective. And at the bottom, it had references available on request. Yeah. When I saw that, I said, chat GPT is not ready. It cannot write your resume. Yeah. yeah. So people should be aware that it's not, it's a great tool. Cool. Yeah. And we have to embrace it because it, and you know, it's coming. It has its, it's, um, it has the good, the good parts of it. And then, you know, the, where bad actors can really yeah. go in and do, and do things. But yeah. The, by and large, most people would be doing it, using it for good. Yeah. But we should be very careful in terms of, yes, it will do this for me, but yeah. I still have to, to attach this, the human yeah. element mm -hmm. to it. Those are great tips, uh, Daisy. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. And for the audience, I've posted all the videos the whole week. You can go back, like, comment, and you can reach us to our socials. So again, Daisy, thank you very much for taking the time to interview you. And for the audience, be prepared for another guest I'm preparing for you guys next time. And Daisy, let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.